back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. If I sound like I'm in a tunnel, it's because, well, it's because I'm recording this from my iPhone due to some technical issues. Um, But I wanted to get you a poem anyway. And the poem scheduled for today is by William Carlos Williams, who um, is one of my favorite poets. He lived from 1883 to 1963. And this is probably his most famous poem. It's called The Red Wheelbarrow. It's certainly one of his two most anthologized poems. This poem was originally published without a title. It was just designated with the Roman numeral 22, so XXII. It comes from a collection called Spring and All, which was uh, included both, uh, both uh, free verse poetry and some prose. After I read it, I'm going to share some words from uh, another one of my favorite poets about this poem, because I think that they get to the heart of what's going on here better than I could uh, express it in uh, just a couple of minutes. So this is a very short poem. It's definitely the shortest poem that I have read on this show thus far, and it will probably be the shortest poem or one of the shortest poems you will hear on this show. So uh, this may not be a long episode, but I do hope that you, uh, you like this poem if you haven't heard it already. Many of you probably encountered it in school. It goes like this. So much depends upon a red wheelbarrow glazed with rainwater beside the white chickens. That's the whole poem. So much depends upon a red wheelbarrow glazed with rainwater beside the white chickens. Wendell Berry has a book about William Carlos Williams' poetry. It's called The Poetry of William Carlos Williams of Rutherford. And in many ways, Williams and Barry uh, are um, kindred spirits, I think. They're both um, highly attuned to the places that they come from. For Barry, it's the uh, rural countryside of Kentucky. For Williams, it's uh, Rutherford and Patterson, New Jersey. He was, a, he was a man of the city, but he was a doctor who attended very closely to people. He was a very uh, generous doctor, both with his time and with the way that he uh, dealt with his, his patients financially. And that shows up in his work, much like Wendell Berry is attending to the, the rural countryside and the people who lived there. William Carlos Williams is attending to the people that were surrounding him in his, uh, in his New Jersey cities with the same sort of attention that Berry attended to, his peop- to the people that he was familiar with. Berry wrote this. This is a charming poem that presents a modest vision that is clear and life-affirming, beautiful in its way, if we consent to it. If we wish to understand Williams as a poet, it is important to notice that this poem's charm depends wholly upon its prosody. To write it out as a prose sentence would reduce it to a bland assertion followed by a mere list of things of little interest or consequence. But as Williams formed it on the page, it both sings in the ear and lights up in imagination. Some readers may deal with this poem by asking, so much of what depends upon... Well, how seriously are we to take this little poem? Surely it is possible to like it very much without taking it very seriously. Are we to go about demanding to know why Peter the Pumpkin Eater could not keep his wife? I think Williams might reasonably have answered, if you don't know, you can't be told. But don't we know that difficult and painful lives have been made livable by just such comely small visions as this poem gives us, and by somebody's ability to say such graceful things about them? End quote. So much depends upon a red wheelbarrow, glazed with rainwater, beside the white chickens. This has been The Daily Poem. Thank you so much for listening. I'll be back tomorrow with another one.